Madonna, she's an icon. She's a queen of pop. She's a 64 year old American songwriter, artist and actress. She's known for her incredible ability to invent and reinvent herself. It's truly remarkable. But what has grabbed media attention and social media attention recently has been her appearance at the Grammys this year, where people were taken aback by her appearance, her overdone full look. Now, not being her plastic surgeon, I would just like to segue this into what really can you do as we age? And aging is part of all of what we do, and it's because we live on planet Earth. So it's just a matter of how you look at aging, but also how you proceed to do things to help reverse or soften aging. And correction of that can be done with neuromodulators and fillers, but overdoing any of these makes you look abnormal. And that's one of the things that I, I wanna talk about. And it's really a combination of what you want, but also seeking a board certified plastic surgeon or someone that truly understands how we age, the science of aging. And so you can apply those and you can take your inherent beauty like that of Madonna and just restore it and, and actually keep her inherent beauty. And I think that is something that really sometimes we see is lacking, especially in icons or aging Hollywood movie stars and actresses. And there's just a note of caution. It's really the onus is on the plastic surgeon or the injector. And in this case, if you're over injecting somebody's face, it doesn't look good, it looks abnormal. And I'm just projecting from what Madonna has done in the past, which as not being her plastic surgeon, I have no idea. But I know she's had several facial rejuvenation procedures and, and perhaps a significant amount of fillers as well is what I can surmise. But the point for all of you is don't overdo it, less is more. And fillers aren't necessarily reversible, even the hyaluronic acid fillers. So if you overdo the cheeks, the lips, it doesn't look good and it doesn't necessarily go away over time and you can't even melt it. So the right way to do it is where you just naturally soften and correct the early aging of the cheeks, of the nasal labia folds, and, and the highlights in the temples. And I think that looks good because it looks natural. It doesn't look like it's been done. And, and then you progress to facial rejuvenation, it's the same thing. As an expert in the science of aging, I do a central facial segmental and selective facial fat grafting and then lifting of the central outer face. So it gives you a natural looking result, something that looks soothing, natural, and turns the clock back 10 years. And, and I think the most important thing is patient selection. You as a patient have to select the best plastic surgeon for you. One that is reasonable, that's going to understand how you look and how you have looked in the past. Take a look at your photos three, four years ago or 10 years ago. You were fuller in the central face, but you don't want to be overfilled because that looks abnormal and it doesn't look humanoid. So don't, don't do that. And it's hard to reverse. And I know that some people think you can reverse it, as I mentioned earlier, but you really can't. So know before you go, less is more. Seek out a board certified plastic surgeon or a dermatologist that really has an expertise in this area that can understand how you age and actually give you a soft, youthful look. That's the key. I think that's the lesson. When I looked at Madonna's photos and I was taken aback as, as others were as well. But some of it has been surgical too because she did have some cross cheek depressions and, and that can be caused by surgery. But I think if you're gonna just have fillers, go slow, go from the upper and outer to the lower, give you shape and contour. You can have a facelift, that's a whole nother uh, set of things you need to look for. And of course, again, you need to find a facelift expert. So hope this helped you. Please leave me your comments and questions about this or anything else you'd like to learn about because the goal of Rorick Knows and my YouTubes is to help you and make you a better you and a more educated you. Thank you.